Hi, I'm Kat, and in this tutorial I will show you how to make this adorable pearls and hemp bracelet. It's very simple and straightforward, and you actually only need three items to make this project. If you're not already subscribed to my channel, hit the subscribe button below, hit the notification bell next to it so you get updates when I post new videos, and be sure to post a comment below telling me what you think. For this project, you'll need some hemp cord, scissors, and faux pearls in various sizes. Begin by measuring your hemp around your wrist three times. This is sure to give you plenty of room for your bracelet. Then you'll want to take that length and grab it with one hand and basically double it over on itself so you're doubling the length. The center of that string is going to end up being your loop of your bracelet. Then cut it off at that six times around your wrist measurement and use that original string to measure three more strings to that exact same length, cutting each of them off. When you're finished, you should have four strings like this. Grab all of the ends of them together and then the centers of them together to make your loops. Then take a one and a half foot section of hemp and add that to your bundle. Then grabbing the loops, you'll want to tie that all in an overhand knot, including that extra section of hemp that you just cut. Before you tighten the loop, make sure that it will fit comfortably over your largest faux pearl because that is going to go in the final knot and help it hold on to your wrist when you put on the bracelet. Then tighten up the knot, making sure that it's good and tight so that your extra piece of hemp is not going to slip out. Take the end of your new piece of hemp, put it through the back of your bracelet loop, then loop it down and through itself, pulling it tight. This is going to form a loop around your bracelet loop itself. You're going to want to do this several times around the entire bracelet loop to sort of seal all of the strings together. You go through the back of the hemp loop and then you take that string down and through its own loop that you've just created. Go through the back of the loop, then take that same section of string down and through its own loop that you just created and pull it tight. You'll want to do this around the entire loop and this makes it look nice and finished. When you get to the end, you'll want to shimmy loose one of the strings from the knot and then slip that loose end of your extra hemp underneath that one string. This is going to be how you hold it in place. Then once it's underneath that one string, pull the knot tight again and make sure all of the individual strings get a tug. That way you know it is firmly held in place. Then you can cut off the excess strings if you don't like them looking too scraggly. And this next step is completely optional, but you can use a piece of wire to help you thread each of your beads. If the hole in each of your faux pearls is a little bit small for your hemp, simply make a loop of wire, put both ends through the center of your pearl, then put the end of your hemp through the wire loop, and pull the wire loop through your bead, thereby pulling the hemp through the center of the bead. This ends up being much easier in the long run and you don't end up fraying the ends of your hemp and having to continually cut them off. You'll want to place the beads on your bracelet on varying strings in varying sizes. You just want it to look nice and random. When you have as many faux pearls on that section of bracelet as you want, take the entire bracelet with all of its strings and tie it in an overhand knot on itself. You'll want to make sure that you have three equal size sections of pearls on your bracelet. Once you've tightened that knot, you can position the pearls as you like them, then do a center section of pearls, tie that off in its own section, and then once you've placed all of the pearls in the final section of your bracelet, measure around your wrist to make sure you place the final knot in the correct place. Before you tie that knot, you'll want to place your largest faux pearl in the middle of your strings where you're going to tie your knot and include that large faux pearl in the knot itself so that it's going to hold on to the loop of your bracelet. Then and once you're sure you like the size of your bracelet, pull the knot tight, but make sure that you don't pull it tight before you have it in the right place. And once that is nice and secure, you can simply cut off the excess ends of your hemp, and that is your finished bracelet. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more projects like this one, hit the subscribe button below, hit the notification bell next to it so you get updates when I post new videos, and I will be posting new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Make sure you like this video and post a comment below telling me what you think.